Hi, my name is Yang Zhen Wu. I will be presenting our paper today, Learning Better Key Points for Multiple Objects Six Stop Pose Estimation. Within the field of computer vision, key points are predefined points or pixels to represent distinctive features of target objects. This concept is frequently employed for feature extraction and representation in diverse tasks, including object and skeleton detection. In recent 6 PE methods based on machine learning, two key point oriented categories emerge key point hypothesis based methods and key point voting based methods. Methods falling into the key point hypothesis category typically produce heat maps or probability scores employing a non-maximum suppression style to localize the key point. On the other hand, key point voting based methods estimate intermediate voting quantities such as radial distance, vector, and offset. These computed votes are subsequently casted into a voting space to determine the final key point location. For key point voting based signal PE methods, key points are typically sampled using two main approaches, FPS and bounding box. Both algorithms ensure that the sample key points are sufficiently spaced apart, enhancing the performance of front end least square fitting algorithms like PMP. However, these algorithms have not considered the training of the backbone network. Our proposed key GNAT addresses this oversight by optimizing the key point locations, allowing the associated votes to be better learned by the backbone network. Here is a visual example illustrating the histogram distribution of three key points sampled using FPS and bounding box. The radial voting quantity representing the gradient distance from object points to key points is employed for simplicity. This choice is due to its single dimension, making it easier to visualize in a histogram compared to offset and vector, which necessitated at least two dimensions. The wall sustained distance between these key points histograms are also calculated. As illustrated in the third histogram, Key points sampled using bounding box with minimum wall searching distance exhibit more uniformly distributed votes indicated by a more similar contour of the histogram compared to the first and second histograms. The majority of the backbone networks employed in sector PE adhere to a classification structure. If the votes from the first and his second histograms were learned by such networks, they might encounter a similar imbalance level issue in the classification task. In contrast, the votes in the third histogram could be learned more effectively in comparison to the others. We thereby propose KeyGNet, a network that learns feature extracted from segments of target objects in real things to estimate the set of optimized key points with similarly distributed votes. Our KeyGNet is based on the graph convolution network EdgeConf, which designed specifically for point clouds. The input of the network is point cloud segments of our targeted objects with RGB values. The output of our network is optimized key points. Our network is supervised by two loss terms, a wall sustained distance loss for the histogram similarity measure and a dispersion loss for key point sparseness measure. We test our key gene at key points on three key point voting based methods, including the radial voting based RCB pose, the vector voting based PVNet, and the offset voting based PVN3D. Our experiments are conducted on all seven BOP core datasets, which contains the commonly used occlusion line mode and YCB video datasets. We evaluated the performance by using the BOP average recall matrix. We also report the ADDS performance for line mode occlusion and ADDS AUC for YCB video to compare with the heuristic FPS and bounding box key points. Table 1 presents the outcomes of the BOP AR assessments. MIMO signifies multiple instances of, of multiple objects, and SISO denotes single instances of single objects in a scene. SISO was the initial mode for all three methods due to the observed performance decline when converting from SISO to MIMO. Notably, our key gene key points not only enhance the performance in both SISO and MIMO modes among all three methods, but also eradicate the SISO MIMO performance gap. Our performance improvement for all three methods tested in MIMO mode made it possible for these methods to simultaneously estimate accurate poses for multiple instances of multiple objects in a scene, with a similar speed compared to the size mode. By using key gene at key points, RCV pose performance on MIMO occlusion is even improved in MIMO mode compared to size mode. The enhancement in performance remains consistent when assessed using ADDS and ADDS-AUC matrix. It's worth noting that 
With the incorporation of key change keypoints, these methods exhibit faster convergence in environment mode as opposed to session mode. We also conducted some ablation and tuning experiments. We experimented with different distribution similarity matrix and found that both distinct distance boosts performance more compared to others. Experiments also extend to hyperparameter configurations, including the impact of initial input, number of key points, and the loss components weights. In summary, we introduced KeyGNet, a network based on edge convolution designed to operate on point clouds, producing a set of key points with optimal distributed votes. To the best of our knowledge, KeyGNet is the first time that the key points themselves are learned, rather than being heuristically selected, for example, using FDS. These optimal key points significantly enhance the performance when tested across three key point voting based methods. Furthermore, the elimination of the size of MIMO gap improves the speed of the disease method while maintaining comparable accuracy. Looking ahead, our future endeavors include dem demonstrating the impact of KeyGNet key points on self supervised 6 dot BE methods, specifically those relying only on labeled synthetic data and on labeled real images. Additionally, we aim to explore the potential usage of KeyGNet to generate key points for unseen objects without a CAD model. The extension of KeyGNet to diverse applications such as object detection and human skeleton detection is also under consideration. Finally, we extend our sincere appreciation to Ernstirk and Bluris for their sponsorship of this work. Thanks for listening. Please scan the QR code to access our implementation on GitHub.